Hey guys, I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in such a long time and I know I just posted my favorites video this past weekend but I didn't post a video Monday and I just, I feel like I've been pretty disconnected. I really haven't been posting much on my social media, like on Instagram and stuff. Besides about the whole lacquer reveal, you guys know I have been revealing shades this week. I'm currently wearing Alexandrite and ruby on my nails right now. I love this combo so much. And so I have been deep, deep, deep into that, but usually I'm, I'm on social media and I'm on Instagram and I'm still talking to you guys and updating and posting, but the past week has been rough. It's been rough. It's just so crazy because you never really know what's going on behind the scenes in anybody's life. And this has been a very tough launch. I guess because of the holidays, so many things were late. I don't get my PR boxes until the day after my collection launches. And so many things were just going wrong and things you guys wouldn't know, but a lot has been getting to me. Um, a lot has been getting to me. And so I actually wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about something that's been on my mind. It has nothing to do with what I just spoke about. I just wanted to update you guys on why I've been so busy. But I've been working on that and dealing with that these past couple weeks. And as you guys know, it takes up so much of my time. And I mainly wanted to film this video to talk to you guys about something because not too long ago, I was talking to a friend of mine who works at YouTube. She used to manage me back in the day. I've known her for a long time. And we were just talking about like my social media presence and my engagement and what I can improve and things I can do. And you know, I started to feel like really down on myself. I started to kind of beat myself up about my social media presence, um, specifically on Instagram, especially on Instagram. And the whole conversation just made me realize so much shit. And by the way, let me just quickly say this is not gonna be a regular video if you guys can't already tell today we are doing a random rambles and I am honestly just going to talk about my feelings I know that I should be posting a regular beauty video today but I just feel the need to talk about this I just feel the need to sit here and talk and even if a lot of what I'm saying isn't gonna make any sense I just I wanna sit here and talk <laughs> and I actually filmed this video a few days ago it was supposed to be Monday's video but I didn't have the courage to post it I was trying to sit down and edit it and I just felt like I was gonna get a lot of hate for the video I got so anxious I deleted all the files and I was like forget about it and then it just kept eating at my brain and I'm I'm gonna film it again <laughs> and hopefully you understand where I'm coming from and I don't sound like a major freaking hypocrite throughout this whole video because I probably will what I was saying earlier is it kind of started, I was talking to my friend and she was telling me that I just, I needed to post more. I needed to be more involved on Instagram. And for example, I go on my Instagram right now and the last photo I posted was four days ago. I should be posting every day. I don't post every day. I'm the world's worst influencer, apparently. And at the end of that conversation, I felt so bad because a part of me knew she was right. I need to be more engaging, right? I mean, I'm an influencer. I have these brands, I'm a businesswoman, I need to be more involved, I need to show my face more. So I know she was just telling me to help me out, to kind of give me more advice, but it just got me thinking about so many things when I found myself like comparing myself to all these other influencers. Because after that conversation on the phone, I was going into so many beauty vloggers, Instagram pages, so many influencers, and I was scrolling through everybody's photos, and I was just looking at everything, and I started to feel so bad about myself and just thinking like well no shit i can't be one of these influencers because i don't leave my house how can i take a cute little photo in my cute little outfit when i live in these four walls i don't have a social life my work is my social life i bury myself in nail polish i bury myself in youtube videos i i don't have this like influencery social media presence like that so many instagram girls do and then before i knew it i was just wrapped up on instagram for hours just sitting there comparing myself to all these other women it just made me realize how toxic social media can be and i know that's nothing you've never heard before I know that's very clear. We all know social media is toxic. There's so much negativity. There's so many hate comments. There are people there are people bullying each other online. I don't mean toxic in that sense because it is. But I mean it's so toxic in a way that just completely destroys your self-esteem. You honestly don't need to read a mean comment on social media to walk away from it feeling like shit that day. All it takes is a beautiful photo from a beautiful person on a beautiful island in a beautiful place social media is so fluffed with perfection and beauty and this perfect life and perfect skin and perfect perfect everything that we honestly spend all our time trying to achieve this perfect life to put it on 
Instagram. It's so crazy how Instagram, and I don't mean just Instagram, I mean social media in general, but I'm gonna use Instagram as an example because I feel like it's the main one. But it's so crazy how we base so much of our life on Instagram. It's so hard not to get yourself wrapped up and lost in this influencer world. And I don't mean as an influencer, like you guys say, but I mean following influencers. Like how many influencers do you guys follow on Instagram? How many Instagram baddies, how many Instagram models do you follow? And how perfect do their lives seem? How perfect do their bodies seem? How perfect do their faces seem? How perfect do they seem? And it's crazy because so much of that is not real. So much of the internet is so fake. So much of Instagram is so fake. And I know I'm gonna sound like a major hypocrite because I edit my pictures on Instagram. I face tune the shit out of my smile lines. I erase them. I don't want anybody to see my smile lines in my makeup photos ever. And I'm gonna continue to do it and I don't care because it's what makes me happy. So I know this whole video at the end of the day is so freaking pointless because people do whatever the hell they want and they should do whatever the hell they want and whatever makes them happy as long as they're not hurting anyone. And I'm a huge advocate for that all the time. You do what you want in your life. It is your life, your journey. But my gosh, there's so much pressure on us as a freaking society to look a certain way or be a certain way, have a certain lifestyle, have a certain car. There's just so much pressure for perfection online that it honestly gets me worried about a, a, the younger generation. And I swear I'm not being dramatic. I'm truly concerned about what Instagram is fucking doing to us. It's almost, and please don't take this the wrong way. Please. But it's almost like if you don't look like Kylie Jenner, you're not trying. If your goal is not little waist, big butt, big lips, long amazing hair, full beat. Like if you don't have all of that going on, plus your Balenciagas and your amazing cars and your super expensive outfits. Like if you don't have all of that, like if you, you're if like, that's not your fit, you're not an influencer. You're not cool. You don't deserve any followers and you definitely don't deserve any likes. It makes me so sad to see so many young girls do the absolute most to try to look like these other women, these other famous Instagram models because they think that's what beauty is. That's the ultimate perfection. And it's not, it really isn't. And I know like a major freaking hypocrite, especially since I have fake boobs. I mean, you guys know this. I did a whole video on my surgery. I have implants in my chest and I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you guys about it and pretend like these are mine but it's also not something I really like talking about on the internet because it is such a sensitive topic and because it's a surgery and because I think it's something that every single person should research and talk to an actual doctor about and I don't feel like I have a right to talk about that kind of thing on the internet and I don't want anybody to want to do something because I did it you know it is a very touchy subject but the fact of the matter is that I do have fake boobs and I do edit my pictures and I do, like I said, I contribute to all this fake shit I'm talking about. But a part of me wonders why. A part of me really wonders why. Like the other day, I was talking to my friend on FaceTime and she was like, do you ever go on YouTube videos without any makeup? And I was like, first of all, you clearly don't watch my videos. <laughs> and second of all, yes, I go on the internet all the time without any makeup on. Like, I mean, I don't have any makeup on. I've been going on my channel without makeup on forever. I, I go on my channel without doing my hair, without brushing my hair. I'm very comfortable in front of you guys, apparently. And again, I'm scared to get, I'm scared to get hate for this video because I know that everybody has their insecurities and there's so many things I'm really insecure about that other people are not. And I don't have really bad acne, which maybe that's why I don't mind going on camera without foundation. Maybe someone who has a lot of acne is super insecure about that and doesn't want you to see their skin without foundation. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with being insecure. There's nothing wrong with having those feelings. I just think it's important for us to realize that these things are who make us who we are. and. We are literally born this way. I was having a conversation with my niece the other day because she's nine years old and she said something, I was like on Instagram and she was like peeping over my shoulder. And she mentioned something like, oh, does that girl have lip filler? And I was like, how the, what? what? How do you know what lip filler even is? And she was like, of course I know what lip filler is. People talk about it in school. But I just felt so compelled in that moment to be like, um, no, she doesn't have lip filler. <laughs> I just felt so weird and I, I didn't know how to approach the situation. I just wanted to reassure her that people don't need lip filler to be pretty or to have nice lips. And it just blew my freaking mind and it made me realize that I'm sitting here at 27 years old and I'm feeling insecure about myself when I go on these Instagram pages and these Instagram models with these little waists and these giant asses and these beautiful lips. They look so freaking 
freaking beautiful and I'm not trying to take anything away from them God please don't take this the wrong way guys I'm not taking anything away from them they're beautiful people but it just made me realize like I being confident in who I am I'm a grown-ass woman I'm very confident in who I am as a person I sit here and I compare myself to these girls imagine these younger girls like my, my nine-year-old niece or my, my little cousins and I just think about them and the pressures of Instagram and I I get sad and I just want you guys to know that you don't have to look like that to be beautiful and I know that that seems corny and cliche and an, an obvious statement but there are a lot of people on the internet who are struggling every day emotionally and mentally with their physical appearance with themselves with their with who they are inside and going on the internet and going on Instagram doesn't help them you know it just it makes things worse and it makes people feel bad about themselves and so I, I kind of just wanted to come on here and tell you that you're not alone. Tell you guys that it's okay to feel that way and that it's okay to not look that way either. It's okay to not have really big lips. I don't have big lips. I actually was made fun of in high school a lot for my top lip because <laughs> it's very small. <laughs> but what I'm getting at is it's okay to not have lip filler. And by the way, it is okay to have lip filler. I've actually thought about it several times. If you're watching this video and you have lip filler, please don't take this the wrong way. This is the same reason I didn't want to post this video last time. I'm, I don't want to offend anybody who has done anything because mama's getting Botox sometime in the near future, okay? No, look at it. I want to get a little bit of Botox in my forehead and I'm going to be dead ass honest with you. I do. I want that. And in February, I got my smile lines filled and I'm currently waiting till this February to do it again because my doctor told me to wait a whole year. She told me that people go overboard by doing it too soon and so I don't want to do it too soon because I don't want to go overboard. But I am, I am waiting to fill in my smile lines again. So yeah, I don't want you to take this the wrong way. I don't want you to think that I'm shaming anybody who gets any work done. If this makes you happy and this changes your life for the better, do it. But what I'm getting at, what I'm saying is, you don't have to do it to be beautiful in society standards or for Instagram standards. As corny as it sounds, who you are is what makes you beautiful. <laughs> it really is. It's like every day you, you see more and more girls becoming this influencer persona <laughs> it's almost like there's an instagram kylie jenner cookie cutter mold and a lot of people are trying to fit that mold you know i think about kylie all the time too because i used to read so many evil comments that kylie was the ugly sister kendall was the pretty one and people always made kylie feel like shit for her small lips and people were just always making fun of her and i wonder if that contributed to all the things that she's done you know, her lip filler, her her hips, her butt. So many people made fun of her butt that it wasn't like Kim Kardashian's ass. It was just, it's so much pressure on these young girls that they feel the need to change themselves and they feel the need to alter their physical appearance. And it's such a sad, sad situation. And every single time I look in the mirror and I hate my little lip and I think to myself, should I get a little lip filler? Should I get a little lip filler? I try to convince myself not to just because there's makeup and I can overdraw my lips like I always do. Look, there's a picture right here. My lips are not this big. I wish. That's what makeup is. <laughs> That's why I tell you so much of what you see on Instagram is not real. Even on my freaking social media on my page. That is the smoothing filter on Facetune. I hit my insecurities and I, and I try to erase them and it sucks but it's, it is what it is and I'm gonna continue to do it but I think what's important is for us to know that it is fake I think it's important for us to know that these pictures that we see online are fake I think it's okay that people face tune I'm not trying to shame a face tuner I just don't want people out there to think that that is real that skin really looks like that and it's honestly not just about the Instagram baddie and the beauty community and all of that that makes me feel this way it's everything on Instagram. It drives me crazy when these really, really, really huge YouTubers and these people with these huge followings that these other average people with average normal jobs are following. These people are posting the most extravagant, luxurious gifts all the time. And don't get me wrong, I have really nice purses in my closet and I've shown them to you guys a couple times and I've talked about luxury items and Tom Ford and I've talked about those things on my channel, but it just drives me crazy when it's all the time, non-stop, and they're posting their Louis Vuitton bags and their private jets and all of these things without even realizing that most people could only dream of affording 
half of those things. And again, don't get me wrong, it's okay to show off your hard work and it's definitely okay to treat yourself 1000%. Show us your bags, your shoes, your cars, but show us your puppy too. Show us your struggles, show us your hardships, show us times when things aren't so perfect, you know? Show us that you're a real person just like the rest of us. <sighs> again, I feel like this is such a hard topic to discuss. You know, my sister and I were talking about this the other day, this exact thing, how social media just portrays perfection. And she's a mom, <laughs> my sister, and she follows a lot of mom bloggers and mom pages on Instagram. And, you know, we're always talking about how women are always in a rush to get their body back, get their body back to how it was before a baby. And so many times you'll see women like two weeks after giving birth, like posting a picture like, oh, finally fit back into my jeans before I gave birth. And don't get me wrong, that's amazing and that's great. Like, holy crap, two weeks, like that's incredible. You should feel amazing and you should feel so proud. But imagine being a mom looking at that um, and it's been four weeks since you had your baby and you're not fitting into the jeans you used to fit into before you had your baby. Something like that can really make you feel bad. Women are already so fragile after birth and so emotional. The fact that they feel like they have this responsibility to get back to their weight or to get back to how they used to be, it's so much pressure. And I know it's been like that since the beginning of time, but its I feel like social media just heightens everything, which is why I think it's so cool for people like Colleen, Colleen Ballinger, who said that her pregnancy wasn't the, the best thing in the world. It wasn't rainbows and butterflies. Like a lot of people make it seem online. And I really appreciated the fact that she posted videos talking about her struggles and talking about how she didn't feel amazing all the time. And I think it's important that we show our flaws on the internet because it's just so saturated and so filled with perfection and fakeness all the time. You know, I want Instagram and social media to just be a little bit more personal. I wanna know your life, I wanna know behind the scenes, I wanna see your cat in a funny hat, I wanna see your pimple. I wanna see what you look like when you don't brush your hair. I don't think any of us look the way we do on Instagram 24 seven or even half the time. And <sighs> this video is dragging on forever now. I, I feel like I really should wrap this up and I feel like there is no end point to this video but I really, really just wanted to make this video because I guess so often I catch myself wanting to look like someone else or wanting to change things about myself. Like, damn, I would like a big juicy booty. Who wouldn't like a big juicy booty? I'd like what? I would like to be a little thick. I could use a little thickness. I got some chicken legs I don't love. I'd like a Coca-Cola bottle. Who wouldn't? The fact of the matter is that that's just not who I am. And I catch myself just sometimes feeling shitty and feeling insecure, wondering if I'm even an influencer type, if I'm even doing what I should be doing, if I'm even as good as the rest of them. You know, I just, I sometimes have these not great thoughts that I feel like social media doesn't help. And I just, I kind of wanted to bring that discussion to this video today. How do you guys feel about social media? Do you guys feel like it affects you sometimes? I definitely feel like it affects me sometimes. It reminds me of my insecurities, especially my, I know it sounds so stupid, but especially my smile lines. I'm very insecure about them. I feel like I talk about them in every video and I bring them up all the time. And like I joke about them because that's, that's the way I cope with things. But something so stupid and so insignificant like that, I'll look through photos and I'm like, oh, nobody has smile lines. When I know that they probably do, they just edit them out the same way I do. <laughs> It's just crazy. So I'd just, I'd love to know how you feel. So I'd love to start a conversation in the comments. Let's get personal. I love it when we have deep conversations. I wanna know your insecurities. I want us to talk to each other in the comments. Let's build some friendships down there. Let's meet some pen pals. Let's talk about the things that most people are nervous to talk about. Most people are scared to talk about because no one wants to talk about their insecurities, but I think talking about them and confronting them helps us overcome them, so. Let's talk. But yeah, guys, um, that completes this video. I know this wasn't a video. <laughs> I pictured this week going very differently on my channel. Um, I've gotten to the point where I, I can't really apologize for my timing of videos anymore. I mean, my goal every week is to post three videos a week, no matter what, that's my goal. Before, I had them up Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays religiously, like on the dot. But now with so many things going on, I mean, I can still post three times a week, it's just the timing. Timing is all over the place. Sometimes I'll post on Tuesdays, sometimes I'll post on Saturdays. I'm working with all seven days now. <laughs> it's hard for me to accept because I hate change and I've been doing the same thing. I've been posting the same way since 2013. But man, things change. And my days are a bit off now, but that's okay. So yeah, I hope you're not disappointed by this video. And if you are, 
I'm sorry. Leave me requests in the comments below on any beauty video you want to see moving forward. I actually bought a bunch of things from some Korean beauty brands. I got like half of the stuff in the mail already. I'm just waiting for the rest of it because I'm going to do a whole video on that. But yes, I completed this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Dim in the twilight, I'll sit on the front porch all night. Waist deep in thoughts of you. Cause when, I don't know, there's something, something, something. I don't feel so alone. I don't feel so alone.